47. Okay. In the pool, 2105. Hopefully less than 10 games to go. I was hoping to get it in 50 games or under, but I don't think that's going to happen unless we start getting to play some 23 and 2400s, which they don't normally want to play. Okay. Only eight points for a 2000. Let's go with the uh, Grunfield. I haven't done that. This is very much like a Tarash. You wait for him to move the bishop, then you and you take on c4. There's the moment. Just like a trash. So why it's important to understand different pawn structures from different openings because there's a lot of transpositions. They're extremely similar. Let's make sure he doesn't get trapped. I don't want you to... Uh, Go there. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I botched that. Threatening the night inmate. C2, Queen B6. Oh, no, Rook D6. Um.
Queen takes d2. Got it. Puzzle rush. Spike check. Good one. Our first and probably last Grunfield. I don't play Grunfield too often, but it's a good opening. He allowed a <coughs> colors. <coughs> Excuse me. Allow the colors reverse. Queen's game declined to Rosh. A3 waste time. And now I've got a pawn in hand. I'm able to get the exchange. Then something happened in here. I mean, the pieces are, are good when they're coordinated, but I let them get coordinated more than I had to. So right here, I had to give the stuff back. But then... All of his pieces are off sides. That's the main takeaway. And then he kind of, he put himself in a bad situation tactically there. And then the idea stuck out. I call this the Danny tactic. Queen takes d2, queen takes d2, knight f3, four king. And he went right into it. And then that's that. Another one in the books, getting close.